The kidney is surrounded by a connective tissue capsule, the renal capsule. Right underneath the renal capsule, this region is referred to as the cortex. You can see the cortex extending around the kidney right underneath the surface. Further inside the kidney, we have what is referred to as the renal medulla. The medulla is a word that means pith, while the cortex is a word that means bark. The inner region, the medulla, has these conical structures, which in a two-dimensional section has a triangular shape. These structures are referred to as pyramids. Uh, the pyramids have a broad base, which rests on the cortex, and they come to a point which is, is called the renal papilla. In between the pyramids, there is an extension of the cortical tissue called the renal columns. So these renal columns are considered to be part of the renal medulla, even though the tissue that you find in the renal columns is identical to what you find in the renal cortex. Now, if you look more closely at one of these pyramids, you find, on the average, about 12 of these renal pyramids within each kidney. And each one comprises a functional unit called a lobe. A lobe would consist of one pyramid, half of the renal column that surrounds it, and the overlying renal cortex. If you look more closely, you can see there are ducts, which are called papillary ducts, which are going to be opening up at the renal papilla. And right over here, where it's numbered six, the tip of a renal papilla, you can see those perforations represent the openings of the, these ducts, which are allowing urine to drip into this tube. And you can see each of these papillae is surrounded by this tube. And these tubes that are in direct association with each renal papilla is called a minor calyx, a minor calyx. And of the four that you see in this region, you can see how the minor calyces are fusing, and they're going to form a major calyx. Here you can see two minor calyces, one right over here and one right over here. This one is still attached to the renal papilla. The one over here is isolated from the renal papilla. The major calyces are going to fuse and give rise to one large collectin basin right over here, which is called the renal pelvis. The urine is then going to flow out through the ureter. 